Crazy Craig, Crazy Craig Dales. That's right, that's me right here at the studio in beautiful downtown Riverside. Today we're going to do something different. Again, I think it's time for me to bring this part of the YouTube channel to you because I have been sitting on this one for a while. It's called Story Time, and yes, this really did happen. It's very true. Okay, so here's what happened. Let me, let me explain. Uh, it was April 19th, 1974. I remember the date specifically. I was working for Redmond Mobile Homes on Alessandro Boulevard in Moreno Valley, and it was my boss's birthday. Do you remember Moreno Valley's Blue Room? Uh, okay, enough said, enough said. Okay. Alrighty then, um, what the deal was is we went to the bar and I let everybody know it was his birthday and the crowd was going crazy and we were there for probably about three hours. Enough to know better to drive home, but you know, when you're young and stupid. And so I'm coming down 215 towards Riverside from Marino Valley. There's a California Highway Patrol writing someone a ticket on the side of the road. Right. So as I go by, I stomp the gas. So I look in the rearview mirror and this California Highway Patrolman folds up his ticket book, jumps in his car and comes after me. Oh no. You have got to be kidding. Please tell me you're kidding. Doesn't sound like he's kidding. <laughs> anyway, so I am thinking I've seen plenty of these car chase scenes. I'm, he's in hot pursuit. I've seen these on television and the guy who stays on the freeway gets caught. So Central Avenue off ramp, off the 215, I jumped down there, well I drove actually. Slid the car sideways, we did a nice little and ran two red lights, not one but two. And there was water in, on the on ramp a little bit, I slid through it. And I look in the rearview mirror, I'm going back towards Marina Valley on the 215 towards the 60. And I look in the rearview mirror and this guy goes into the guardrail. Groovy, baby. <laughs> so now I got an extra three to five seconds. So I go to the next off ramp, which I think is Box Springs. I make a right, another right, then a left, and I am traveling in a residential area. What am I gonna do? So I'm looking around, I'm looking around, I'm not panicking, but I need something quick. Ah, ah, look there. There is a garage that is open with no cars in it. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I drove that baby right on in there, put it in park, shut the motor off, came down and slammed that garage door shut. So now, my heart is racing a thousand miles an hour. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I should go to the back door and knock and tell these people that I'm here as a fugitive from the California Highway Patrol. <laughs> Nobody was home. But, the best part is yet to come. There was a little cocker spaniel in the backyard with a leash and a chain. It looked like somebody had chained him to keep him from going somewhere. So I disconnected the chain, I grabbed the leash, and I went out on the sidewalk, and I'm walking the dog. Hey, but what's up, what's up? So here he comes, here comes the CHP. He looks at me and he says, hey, did you see a burgundy car with shiny wheels? I said, man, he was hauling ass, he went that way. Ah, uh, we can't make that up. The only reason I got away with that is because that garage door was open, and that little dog helped too. Uh, also, there's another, Phone fun deal. I got a hold of somebody. That's going to be fun for you. Uh, a lot of good things coming up, so, you know, stay close. Uh, please subscribe. Leave a comment. <laughs> I'm not prepared at all. <laughs> no, this is broken. Ah, I'm doing well. I'm fine. Thank you. Fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I got to go. Yeah, baby. You see that? Did you see that? Yeah, baby! Oh my god. It doesn't get much better than that. Don't think that it does. I gotta go.